Hi, everybody. My name is Meng Zhang, and I'm the first female executive director of the Wisconsin United Coalition of Mutual Assistance Associations, also known as WACMA. Today was so exciting. We had our very first in-person orientation to launch our first annual Healing Through Fashion Showcase, and we are so excited. My name is Ma Vu. I am the founder and CEO of Empower Your Voice Media. I live here in Wausau, Wisconsin, and I am the marketing consultant for the WACMA's first annual Healing Through Fashion Showcase. It was really great to meet everyone in person, and we had just finished up with everyone's interviews as well, so it's great hearing their stories, and I'm looking forward to how they'll grow throughout this process. My name is Ngali Hang. I'm from Sheboygan, Wisconsin. I feel pretty excited, pretty nervous and anxious. So a little nervous, Are you but, a student or? Um, I just graduated mm -hmm. high okay. school, just okay. in January. I mean, and I'll then, be a student this upcoming okay. fall. I just hope that I can continue to grow and learn of what the power of fashion can do. Some of the things that they write about is like true, like something like I'm a dreamy person. Like I fantasize and I dream about like the future a lot. My name is Esma Dasan. I'm originally from Palestine, but currently I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I have been painting for a very long time and a very, very long time. And this is actually how I got into the fashion world and stuff like that. I'm very excited to be here, and so far it has been a very pleasant experience. I was giving uh, two yards of uh, a mysterious fabric. I didn't know about it, but it was in the description. And it turned out to be very colorful. It has flowers on it. Normally what I do is full of um, nothing. It's always solids and just like white, black, very neutral colors. This is very, very colorful. I have no idea how I will use it, but I'm very excited to put that in my designs. My name is Pachang Her. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I am participating in the Healing Through Fashion Showcase. I burn myself out a lot. So I've been learning to like delegate and, you know, asking for help. Like sometimes I can be a perfectionist, so like I like things a certain way and if I know how to do it, I'll just do it. I'm looking forward to building more networks, showcasing the ideas I have popping in my head right now. The message behind the showcase, I feel like it makes people vulnerable and I think that message will showcase that you're not alone. I'm super excited to be a part of the showcase. Hi, my name is Ying Tao Vu. I am 23 years old. I am from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, is it just like a, another fashion show? Slash Vinny Expo. Oh, okay. I operate Yana's Wild Collection. It's been seven years. I do prop making, so like, I focus on making cosplays for people or costumes and I get commissioned for a lot, so I'm also a freelance designer. I saw the post, Healing for Fashion, and my friend tagged me, they were like, you should do it. People were sending me messages, oh, dude, this fashion show is legit. And I was like, well, it's, it's their first time, but it's okay. I'll try it, I'll do it. I signed up, got my portfolio in, boom, period, I got in. I feel so honored to be part of this journey with Wakma because this is a platform where young Hmong men like me can display my talent and skills. Like fashion design and costume design is not just a girl's thing, it's also a guy's thing too. I am hoping to impact the audience and the community because my runway will be a storytelling um, runway. I'm excited to display my talent on stage and I hope that the audience are ready to see what I put on stage. <laughs> My name is Ethan Shung. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. One thing I want to improve is my creativity and motivation. I haven't been creative that much recently, so I really want to get back into finding that creativity again. Today, I'm being interviewed for the Healing for Fashion program. I am looking forward to just being able to communicate with the other designers and being able to showcase my own designs. 
I was interested in this opportunity because I am able to showcase my designs and how I can represent my story into my garments. I feel very honored to be a designer in this showcase because I know that this Healing for Fashion program is the first of many and being selected through this process was very significant in my life and opportunity in the fashion industry. Through this process, I'm hoping to improve my ability to construct garments and design garments. I know the day that it comes, I'm gonna be so emotional because I'm such a freaking crybaby, but also because I care so much about the work that we do and you guys are gonna be a huge part of that. So I'm just, can't tell you guys enough how excited I am, as you can tell. Um, but yes, this is the team, you guys. Healing Through Fashion came again really when I thought about how do we connect more people together? How do we get more creatives to come together? How do we create intentional spaces? And how do we elevate each other through the process? This event was written in for the Wisconsin Humanities Grant, which we're so grateful for. We are taking a very layered approach. We want to create safe spaces for folks who are talented to come together to teach us a skill learn a skill, but also to share uh, stories and heal through doing all of this together. We're also taking a look at how do we build this from an economic and business development lens as well. And so we want to definitely support artists, designers in this space, and to be able to provide very intentional resources to help elevate their business. The other thing that I'm really looking forward to the most for this showcase is seeing the models and the designers put all of their A-game on that runway and seeing how I can support them and amplifying their stories even more. I believe this is such an important cause, an important showcase to take place here and in Wausau of all places. I believe there's so many talented people here in the state of Wisconsin. And so being here in central Wisconsin and being the first fashion show here, I think this is a great way to support our businesses and our local fashion designers and to help empower them to go even further and reach out for their dreams. What a journey I've been on, and thank you, Mang, for making this happen. Mm -hmm. You are changing, you're changing so many things, and we're gonna see this. We're all, I don't wanna spoil you, but okay, anyways. <laughs>workshop is called healing through movement lately i feel like i'm not growing fast enough and it's just a lot slower than i would want to and i don't know maybe that's just because i'm just not feeling like i'm being challenged enough or maybe i'm just not aware but that is definitely something that i desire my workshop is about tackling our vulnerability and how we can use that to empower each other and hopefully to transform us. And I want it to challenge us to transfer that into dance. I'm sure like we're kind of like flying a little, looks like we're kind of elevating a little. The final making of my project will be a video form of just the process and the journey of how dancing makes us feel. And I'll be choreographing a dance to a song called Pli Ya by Mavu, and I think she does a great job with just sharing her story through this song, and it resonates with a lot of us, so I wanted to just portray the emotions and the feelings through dance. that she used Ma's song, Pliya. That's one of my favorite songs too, off of Ma's album that she released, uh, gosh, three years ago now, two years ago now. 
that's a wonderful song. And I think that she really honored it in a great way during her workshops. And I'm so happy that she was able to share that moment um, and that she created a video for you all to reflect on too on her Facebook page. I did watch her video and it's she did an amazing job. <laughs> no girl. My workshop's name is Healing Through Breaststrokes. My workshop is a crash course. It has five lessons, five days. Each lesson was about a specific part of painting. It was about line, shape, color, texture, and space. Is everybody having fun? Yeah. Today is the final lesson where we learn about space. By that, referring to depth, negative space, and how we use that to make an illusion on a painting canvas. This is very good blending. Very good. Some of the main objectives of today's lesson is to understand the power of negative space and positive space. Not just within painting, but within life. For the sun, yellow or red or whatever you want, and the rest of the canvas, I want you to draw your home. So my final project is a combination of all the work that was done throughout the five lessons or the five meetings we had. And I collected everyone's painting. It's a mini canvas. And it's just a representation of how us as a society can be very artistic, very mind forward, and full of life and color and paint. She's such a deep thinker and the way that she connected also her workshops to like reflect society and like the thoughts of how does art actually really incorporate to how we think and act like a society. I think it's just so, it honors who she is as a person. And I'm so happy that she found a way to express herself and also to empower others to think more deeply and to reflect through her workshop. of my workshop is healing postcards. My workshop is about a way to heal through art therapy and have a creative outlet. I draw about your emotions. Today the participants created postcards, um, writing it either to themselves or to a loved one, just a way to like heal. Final project, what I am proposing is um, having all the postcards that I do get from the participants to hang it like a mural. I love her workshop idea of healing postcards because I think sometimes we keep our thoughts in our heads, right? And we don't get a chance to verbally say it out loud or write it down. And journaling and writing is definitely a form of healing. And my workshop is named A Message to Yourself. I invited the whole community to come join and make postcards with me today at Pontabot in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. During the session, participants were able to express their thoughts by making cards, and they were able to express their thoughts, emotions, and how are they doing. Hi guys, this is a mental health check-in for everyone that's going through a tough time or just today's has not been the best for you. And just a daily reminder. So imagine this purple, this purple, circle is your grief, your pain, and trauma. We don't know how to cope with it because we're not building experience around the pain. But if we learn to build experience around the pain, we know how to cope with it. And we call it coping mechanisms. And you build resiliency through experience. And as you build experience, experience could be like meeting new people or talking it out with a therapist to help you become the best version of yourself. The outcome of my final project is to have this woven divider to be filled with this beautiful postcard messages from all these community members. And the idea is, is to just share positivity because the smallest act of kindness can make the biggest impact in someone's life. Ying Tavu, where do I begin? He is such a sensitive, beautiful soul. He's grown so much since I first met him many years ago, and I'm really proud of him. However, as you guys have seen at our showcase, we only had three designers. Yingta was actually the first designer to drop out in October. 
before our final photo shoot. I was really excited when his application came through because I know how talented he is. So I wanted to give him a Wisconsin opportunity to showcase himself. Life happens and sometimes things don't happen the way that we expect them to, and it's totally okay. I'm really grateful that he still got the chance to finish his workshops. I hope that it was a way for him to also help heal himself and share the end result of him healing himself too. I think that's really important and that's like a continuous life journey. And so, Yang Tai, I hope you know how proud of you I am and I hope that we'll get to work together again. My name is Ethan Shong and my fashion line is E4. My workshop is Strands of Our Ancestors. My workshop targets feminism in the Hmong community and just reconnecting with our ancestors in the handwork they used to do. Today, we're just gonna be beading our strands and completing partial of our collaborative tapestry. The final project will be a collaborative tapestry made by the contributors of the community. Mr. Ethan, he was our youngest designer that came through. First impression, portfolio-wise, his was one of the most impressive. And so we were really excited when his application came through and unfortunately he also dropped out before the final photo shoot. I'm glad that he was able to finish his workshops. Um, and that was so cute. He also has, of course, like the youngest group of participants for his workshop. And I love also the intentionality that he had behind the name of his workshop too. Again, even though he is such a young soul, I feel like Ethan is definitely wise, but beyond his years. I was hoping to have Ethan go through the entire process with us, but again, it's totally okay. It's called healing through fashion, right? And so we don't want it to feel like a burden to anyone's healing in their process in life. And so I'm hoping that we can give him at a different time, the space and the opportunity to showcase his work in Wisconsin. Ethan, I hope you know how proud of you we are and uh, keep working hard. And you know, I know that you'll be successful in whatever you do. So Meg, what was your final reflection of this weekend after the photo shoot of the designers being here in Wasa and for us seeing their designs for the first time in person? We haven't seen them since May. And so I know we've been checking with them monthly. I know I missed some meetings because we're so busy. Right. And so I was actually really, really excited to see all of them in person mm -hmm. again. And also a little anxious about seeing the collection for the first time. But overall, I felt so inspired because they're all so different and I feel like we can really see their heart yes. like in the collection and so I was really nervous but I think we had a really good team too. I think this weekend was such a huge like honor for our journey yeah. because we've been working with these designers since May and their energy level from the beginning was so, there was so much uncertainty yeah. with their journey. And then to see them here now and their vision is more clear, that was really powerful for me because seeing them working with their, their, their models and putting on their pieces, we truly saw for the first time their story like come to life. And it was so much fun. I was dancing a lot. <laughs> My name is Lee Chang. I am the videographer for uh, Healing Through Fashion. Beginning of the spring, I was offered to help out WACMA for a behind the scene and documentary. Man, you and I, we come from almost in a way different backgrounds, mm -hmm. and yet our experiences are quite similar in terms of how we work together. How I've been experiencing this journey with you is that 
I've always seen you as the person who saw the big vision. You saw the beginning all the way to the end. And for me, I was more of an operator. So I love to come in and be like, okay, what do you need? What do we need to do? And I execute. So I think having that balance in our relationship truly made this a very successful. I think as a team, we, like I said, I think we bounce off of each other really well. Yeah. Same with Pana yeah. and, and also with Lee. I feel like we're, we make a really good like core team together. Absolutely. And then adding Jessica and Tia this weekend too was mm -hmm. a huge blessing. And I'm so grateful that they could join yes. us. I think also because they don't come from that production background, they learned a lot this weekend from us. and. I don't think they realize the nuances of production and timing so that everyone on the team can be successful, right? So the videographer, the photographer, um, being aware of decorations, all of these things matter so much so that all together, all of our hard work comes together and it just like paints this beautiful, amazing show. And so I can't wait to see it come to fruition. Using puns here, it was seamless. I know. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to, I think, everybody bringing their A-game that day. I know we're having dress rehearsal, and that's the only other time they'll be on stage. I for sure will have nerves and, you know, a little bit of anxiety, but really, I think, good energy, having them, like, just rock the stage. I just can't wait. And yes. to see um, everybody, like, do their jobs really well, too. I know Pana always brings her A-game, Lee always brings his A-game, and. We do too, Everybody. so I'm so excited to just see it all yes. come together. All right, so until next time, see you later. Awesome, thank you. This is gonna take me a while, just to let you know. <laughs> collection is called Breakthrough. The inspiration was just transformation. So I wanted this piece to be transformed in like three way. So you can wear it three way. There is like the simple fitted mini dress. And then I wanted to kind of splash a little bit of me over it, which I love voluminous. And there's a piece of organza with ruffle hems. And I just wanted to create that beautiful flow. And then eventually you can just kind of release and take that and tie at the waist and it becomes a whole different dress. Or you can just disregard everything and just, you know, keep it simple. My collection's name is Radiance. My showpiece is very unique because it's not an actual garment. It's more like a headpiece cape. The actual dress that is under the showpiece that gives it the glam is very simple, very unique, pink and purple. I love the contrast. It represents the final stage of healing when the lights finally show up. The name of my collection is Gong Zhuo. My showpiece design represents a lot of the military aspect and hunting aspect that was inspired by my dad. The camouflage, I actually utilized that print when he passed, I used that print for a tie that he wore and um, a pair of socks that he wore. 
In a moment, you guys have all been waiting for it. the big announcement of who's gonna win that $3,000 prize. And the winner of the $3,000 prize is... Honestly, it's been an honor and it's such a privilege to work with some of amazing people, especially the two women that's led this. In the way they just project themselves, the way they speak and lead, that's an inspiration to me and that's just something that I want to grow and become too. Just to find that confident, you know, in my voice and to continue to stay that confident. It's been a great journey. <laughs> Yeah, highs and lows, but you know, I made it this far and I'm gonna keep going, so. She has such a bright spirit about her and I love her aesthetics. She's very particular and she's just so different and vibey. I feel like she has such a good vibe about her and Gali has been such a pleasure to work with. First impression wise, I think I was the most impressed with Kelly's line. I was really pleasantly surprised by the pieces that she put together and it's such a vibe. I, I love her collection, so great job, Kelly. The essence of life is just trying. Everyone here is about growth. So that is really important and I need this to keep going forward. Dasan, 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 where do I begin? She, she always makes me laugh. <laughs> and I, I love that in her intro interview, she talked about being drawn to apply um, because of the name of our showcase. And we did launch it with the hopes that non-Mung designers also applied and so when we saw her name come through, we were actually really excited and we're so happy that she stuck it out with us throughout the whole process. I hope that through this process, she was empowered to be even more herself. I know that too, during this process, um, she mentioned going overseas and visiting family. I'm grateful again that she had this outlet. I hope that was really helpful to her to heal and to also deal with real-time challenges um, with her family that is overseas right now. I am so happy, again, that we have one non-Mong designer. I think that's really important to be inclusive and to make sure that others feel welcome in our space because we have so much in common as different cultures and we're very family-oriented and we care so much about the work that we do and who we do it with and how we honor ourselves through the process. And so I'm so grateful final reflection that I have from this journey is the word perseverance and what entitles that and what encompasses that is being able to overcome all the lifestyle changes I've had this couple months this pregnancy that I'm going through and being able to create the the best version of what represents my dad in this collection she is such a beautiful soul. I think it was in our first monthly meeting with her, she, she cried. And now we know uh, not only is she, of course, uh, you know, she was expecting, but also, of course, still grieving the loss of her father. And so I know that this whole journey has been really emotional for her. I think just like even more heightened. I'm just so proud of her. I think she's always been super genuine and 
I love that she dedicated this line to her dad. I think that's, again, it's so special. And I think that when we have so much love for someone, we want to continue honoring them in different spaces and different ways. And I know that she definitely did that. I'm sure her dad is so proud of her. She talks a lot about perseverance. And I think it's such a great reminder, right? That no matter what we are going through, that every chance we get, especially when it feels challenging, that it's really a chance for us to learn and grow and elevate ourselves. And I'm really happy that that was her journey as she was going through conflicting emotions. So I hope that she's able to process that and also honor herself too through the process. I wanna give a shout out to Pana and Jodan of Love LLC for just rocking the stage. They created our backdrop for us and it was a collaborative minds effort. So many people behind the scenes like make us so successful. I can't name everybody, but also thank you to Lee and your crew for capturing everything and traveling the state of Wisconsin to support us throughout this whole six, seven month journey. It's been such a pleasure. You are given the support. You are given the time to be successful in this team. Whoever wants to become a part of the team, I would actually recommend. My time with Healing Through Fashion has been awesome. My Walkman team, and of course to our funder for the Humanities Grant. Thank you for believing in us and our mission and our vision for this year. We hope to continue working with you all. And I am so happy that I get to wrap up 2023 with this project. Thank you everybody for all of your support and your continued partnerships and everything that we do. I appreciate you guys. Welcome to, to the, the first Q. annual. Oh, <laughs> mom! <laughs> it went too fast. It went too fast. So it's really powerful. I think so too. Lee, how did you feel? <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good blooper reel. <laughs> Is that how you really feel, Lee? Is that yeah, really yeah. how you feel? Just be honest. <laughs> oh, I feel great. Anything else you would like to include? Um, I love Mei Zhang very much. <laughs> <and> <laughs> The final outcome is to have this woven divider to be filled up with beautiful postcards. And then you'll see so many beautiful representations of how people feel every day, throughout the months and years, and what type of positive quote they have written. You can say it, you know. Okay. Yeah. I mean... And what are you doing here today? I'm here today with... With the wall... <laughs> What? I don't know, what business is it? Okay. <clears throat> what is your workshop name? My workshop is called Healing Through Fashion. <laughs> That's a walk <laughs> Okay. Okay. My, my workshop is called Healing... <laughs> Through Fashion. Dude, you're messing me up, like, bro. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, my workshop is called Healing... <laughs> Okay. I don't think it's a good idea to look at you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I can do this, bro. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs>
I'll look I'll look, look right here. Just look yeah. in my earphones. <laughs> okay. My workshop uh, action. Alright, what is your name? Where are you from? Oh, and sorry, sorry. Oh. I moved my camera slightly. Um, we must understand the power of negative space and positive space, whether we're talking about painting or we're talking about us in real life. Jeez. Can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear that one. <laughs> and I wanted to show everybody that... Jesus. Can, you can hear it? I can hear okay. it. Okay. Yep. What are you doing here today? You need to stop laughing at me or go <laughs> sit there. Um, healing. Oh, we are too far off to the side now. <laughs> he said required. Uh, He's like yeah. talking. <laughs> what is your name? And where are you from? Uh, my name is Pachang, and I am from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mm, beautiful. Can we have you say that without the um at the beginning? <laughs> yeah. Because I, I know, you know it's a thing. It's like saying um or like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So now uh, face me more. There you go. Uh, sorry, back up a little bit. <sighs> um. Do you mind if I change my lens? No, go okay, ahead. I gotta change my lens quick. The final project will be a collaborative tapestry. Sorry. My final project will be a. F the final project will be a collaborative tapestry. For Wakma. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or healing through fashion? Oh, okay. <laughs> so my name my name is Lee Chang, and uh, I am the videographer for Healing Through Fashion. Uh, fashion. Jeez, let me do that again. <laughs> I don't I don't do this on uh, no, that's often. Okay. Okay. I know, you're usually on this side. <laughs> yep. Okay, so my name is Lee Chang. Uh, I am the sorry. My name is Lee Chang. I am the videographer for uh, Healing Through Fashion. Okay, that's good. Yes. It's um, so I'm nervous over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're going to be part of our movie reel, okay? Um, can you tell me how long you've been doing videography? Mm -hmm. Wait, we have to say that's a rep. That's a rep. Paula, come in to the last shot. That's, that's a rep. Oh, my God, I did. Do we fit in this the shot? <laughs> Let's see here. Be shown. I think we're we're taller. All right, okay. guys. Well, that's a wrap. Okay, we'll say that. One, okay. two, three. That's, that's a wrap. A wrap. Ah! I was looking at the screen. Let's do that oh, again. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. That's, that's a, a wrap. wrap. <laughs> All right. Cool. Woo! Awesome, guys. Yay! Good job. Good job, Lee. Yep. <laughs>